Let's head to the top of the first inning of this big SCIL clash at Station Park and Taylor McCord of Pope John puts runners on the corners here with this single, but the Lions leave them stranded as we head to the bottom half of the inning. Sam Griner, Sparta sensational sophomore, then laces a one-out single to center to put runners on first and second in the bottom half of the inning. But watch P.J. shortstop Kate Mealy make this great diving stop, then she alertly tags the bag to rob Lauren Dick of Sparta to end the inning scoreless. Okay, we go to the top of the second, and Aileen Burgos of Pope John leads off the inning with this single to center field. But Sparta pitcher Sam Griner gets out of the inning here with this strikeout, and we're still scoreless. Sparta went 1-2-3 in the third before Sam Griner strikes out the side here for the Spartans. Griner finished the game with 13 strikeouts. Now watch this great shoot by P.J. catcher Aileen Burgess. She guns down the Sparta runner on the steal attempt in the bottom of the third as Kate Mealy makes the tag. All right, top of the fourth we go, and freshman Brooke Powers goes the other way for this one-out single for Pope John as it looks to get something going. But watch this great Sparta defense on this bunt as the Spartans make the play at first before tracking down the P.J. runner in a rundown as she was heading to third to end the inning for a double play. Pope John's defense was stellar all game. Watch this nice snag by Taylor McCord at third as Brooke Powers completes the play at first to rob Sam Griner of a hit. Okay, Sparta looks to get something going here in the bottom of the fourth as Lindsey Barr singles to left with one out. But Amanda Kent of Pope John ends the Sparta threat here as she handles his big hop at second base to end the inning for the Lions. And Pope John left fielder Lauren Hurley gets into the defensive act here as she hustles to track down this pop fly to end the fifth inning of this great pitcher's duel between Griner and Caitlin Whalen of Pope John. Now watch Whalen pick up a big strikeout here to end the sixth inning with a runner on third as we head to the seventh with no score. Pope John couldn't score in the top of the seventh, but watch Casey Creswell of Sparta make a bid here for a game-winning homer, but Kristen Carter settles under it and we head to extra innings still scores. What a game. Okay, Stephanie Barbalusco leads off the top of the eighth for Pope John by reaching on a drop third strike as Pope John looks to score. Now watch this great play by Sparta as Casey Brennan guns down Barbalescu at home plate, but Amanda Kent races to second with some heads-up base running to get into scoring position for Pope John. And that's exactly what she does as Kate Mealy comes through with a clutch two-out single to center to snap the tie as the Lions go up 1-0. Okay, bottom of the eighth we go, and after a Mary Kosinicki walk, watch Amanda Kent turn in another sparkler here at Rob Jackie Perez of a hit and keep Kosinicki at third. All right, you want an incredible ending? Well, watch this, folks. The Lions are trying to intentionally walk Sam Griner, but Caitlin Whalen slips in a strike to end the game as the Lions win one nothing for a big SCIL win as they close in on the title as Kate Whalen talks about that final at-bat. I'm real. I can't really, I don't know, I just don't like pitching out or whatever it's called. <laughs> and I messed up, and I guess it was a strike. I don't know. I was like, Kate, just just throw balls, but uh, it was crazy. I couldn't even, I was, oh, I don't even know. <laughs> Naturally, I told her, we're going to walk her. I'm not going to have uh, Griner. She's a hell of a hitter. She's a hell of a ball player. I'm not going to have her beat me. And then uh, she throws the first one. Uh, I forget, was it outside? Uh, yeah, and then she fouled one off, and I looked at her. She goes, oops. And then we're trying to walk her and with two strikes, and she throws one right down the middle. What can I say? You know, and Griner wasn't prepared. The win gave the Lions a season sweep of their crosstown rivals. It was so important because not only are we, like, rivals with Sparta, but, like, now we're even closer to winning the SAIL, so. Keeps us in first place, gets us ready for, hopefully, the SAIL title. It's a big win for us. Um, Coming, winning, beating Jefferson and then beating them puts us ahead in the SEIL. So hopefully, three more games. It's an in-town in rivalry. I mean, anytime you can beat Sparta twice in a season is a great win for us. All right, just like if they beat us twice, it's a great win. Pope John pitcher Kate Willen didn't have her best stuff, but her defense was there to help her out. I love them for that. They did amazing, and I don't know. Couldn't ask for anybody better. We know these games are always going to be one-run games no matter what. So it really comes down to defense, pitching, defense, you know. People are, people are hitting the ball left and right, but our defense came through today and got the win for us. I think the biggest play was Amanda's one that she got the out because that gave us two outs. And I thought it was going through, but you can never underestimate Amanda. She's always there. But our defense has been great for us lately. So I'm not surprised at this defense. We've been doing it all year. I mean... Caitlin wasn't overpowering today. I mean, the first game she was overpowering, but I have a good defense. I mean, that in, our infield is solid. I mean, I got a heck of a third baseman. 
Uh, my shortstop is probably the best I've ever had. I haven't seen too many better shortstops. And uh, Amanda at second base has really made herself a great second baseman. And my freshman at, at first base, I mean, she can pick it. She can, you know, she's a heck of a first baseman and, and not a bad pitcher either. Kate Neely knew she had to come up big, and that she did for the Lions. I was just trying to relax. Um, I passed at bats. I worked the count really well, and I let a few pitches go by that were good pitches to hit, and I didn't want to do that again. So I had two strikes on me, and I was just up there trying to get one in the gap. The Lions are looking to win their first SEIL title under Frank Canning and also do well in the States. I'm going to take it one game at a time, but I'm pretty sure that we can do good things. Make it to sectional finals is our, is our goal right now.